my ideal village. Peace and order is an essential ingredient in maintaining economic development, social order, and political stability of a village. The condition of peace and order facilitates the growth of investments, generates more employment opportunities, and attracts more tourists. Economic development generally refers to the sustained concerted actions of policymakers and communities that promote the standard of living and economic health of a specific area. Peace refers to absence of hostility. It refers to an environment that is characterized by healthy interpersonal, international relationships, acknowledgement of equality and fairness. Peace and order in a village is very important. Problems within a community can prevent people from living safe, happy, and productive lives. Promoting peace in a community is an extraordinary challenge, and it often requires the work and dedication of many community members. However, you can help to promote peace within your community by encouraging good relationships with your neighbors learning more about your community's history and taking action to deal with violence. In environmental care, we pride ourselves on achieving sustainable outcomes for all our developments, delivering not only tangible positive benefits for our communities today, but maintaining and enhancing prospects for the future. We care for the environment by ensuring Everyone home we build incorporates water efficient fixtures and appliances. Choosing energy efficient lighting in our homes. Harnessing and utilizing renewable resources to achieve long term sustainability. Utilizing renewable energy technology for those possible, such as solar hot water. Targeting development sites located in close proximity to public transport. Providing easy access to shopping and employment centers to reduce the carbon footprint of our residents. And lastly, encouraging a mix of integrated single title and multi-unit housing in order to create strong, vibrant, and diverse communities and to achieve social responsible densities. Leadership and governance in a village. Village heads are often associated with tribal life where members of the community usually have close genetic and social connections. The system for selecting a head varies, depending on the region and the cultural traditions. A number of studies have been conducted on the village life to learn more about the political systems used in communities all over the world. Commonly, the village head is a community elder reflecting common social attitudes that older adults are to be respected and revered. Community elders may be viewed as natural authorities on a number of topics and they also have considerable influence making them good choice for village leadership. Some are elected from a pool of candidates while others may hold an inherited position training to become the village head for a young age. Sustainable food production is a method of production using processes and systems that are non-polluting, conserve non-renewable energy and natural resources, are economically efficient, are safe for workers, communities, and consumers, and do not compromise needs of future generations. Maintaining food production and sustainability in a village is very important because food scarcity is an issue that affects people around the world. Developing countries often struggle the most with food scarcity, but sustainable farming techniques could change their food system and lead to economic development and environmental protection in a village. People that live in developing countries often can get enough to eat. Sustainable agriculture could help them increase their yields by the farmers. Sustainable agriculture does, doesn't just lead to short-term improvements. It helps enable food security over the long run, but it's very nature. Sustainable agriculture helps ensure resources are available 
indefinitely bearing some unexpected event. This means these nations can feed their populations and become self-sustaining. So I want this on my village. Having food security dramatically improves the well-being of my village people and opens door to a variety of other benefits. In addition to food security, sustainable food production also help promote water security. Sustainable agriculture involves various practices that help to conserve water. It uses techniques such as a drip irrigation, which supplies water directly to crops, roots. This technique drastically increases the efficiency of crop watering. To have a good village and a peaceful life, also, we need a good relationship with each other and our families. Yes, in modern life, the definition of family has evolved, but its importance remains. As modern life puts pressure on all of us, the benefits of living in a family relationships in a village are more important than ever because helps meet basic needs and allows you to belong to something. Both people and children enjoy a healthy lifestyle when they live in a healthy family with a good relationship of each other. They have healthy meals, are encouraged to get up and move, enjoy time outdoors, and get prompt medical attention when needed. Health benefits exist for parents too. Family members are linked in important ways through each stage of life, and these relationships are an important source of social connection and social influence for individuals throughout their lives. Many of us threw caution to the wind and filled our holidays with family and friends, enjoying good conversation, exchanging hugs, ideas, and kind of words of love and support. An invigorating and much needed dose of human interaction after nearly a year of oppressive social restriction caused by the COVID-19. But sadly, the COVID virus did not vanish with the dawning of a new year and we are advised to settle back in our new normal routine of mask wearing, social distancing, quarantining, and etc. Human beings are inherently social as are most animals. It is the way of nature. Even ants exhibit social behaviors. So, as humans, our social relationships are much more complex and fulfilling. They provide us with a sense of connection, purpose, support, and ultimate overall better health and longevity. Dozens of studies have shown that people who have fulfilling relationships with family, friends, and community members are happier, have fewer health problems, and live longer. So, it is very important in a village to have a good relationship with family and our society. Describe how the world you live now is less ideal. There are many causes of murders nowadays. Some of the reason is the hunger. Hunger is one of the reasons and causes of killing people in our present time. Involving illegal activities such as drugs may be one of the reasons. Based on the Statista Research Department in December 6, 2021, that in the Philippines, it has a high rate of crime, violence, and terrorism. In 2020, the country was on the bottom five of the order and security index ranking across the Asian Pacific region. Equally, the Philippines was among those with the highest incarceration rate in every 100,000 inhabitants. Crime rates were particularly high in poor neighborhoods and areas with larger population and higher unemployment. An Indian drug war According to official government figures, member of the Philippine National Police and the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency killed 5,903 individuals during anti-drug operation from July 1, 2016 to September 30, 2020. This number did not include the death of those killed by unidentified gunmen whom Human Rights Watch and other rights monitor believe operate 
in cooperation with local police and officials. How can you make the world more ideal? An ideal world be a world full of honesty, no hatred, no corruption, no greediness, a world full of peace. There's no rich and poor. We are all equal. Education is accessible. Unless there's no crime exists. What's the life for future children like should this proposal of an ideal be realized? If the proposal of an ideal be realized, my future children will never suffer from poverty. We love our children and we want the best for them. I want them to get a good education, live happy and successful lives. I want them to pursue their own dreams and live happy and productive lives as much as I want them to find personal fulfillment. It's important to me that they make a positive contribution 